Good morning guys, happy Sunday and welcome to another video. We left for Ireland straight after work on Friday evening. We stopped off at our good friend Andy's house in Leamington Spa, ready to convoy together in the morning. We parked up at Linogwin in Snowdonia, North Wales. It's a beautiful and free wild camp spot right next to a lake and surrounded by mountains. It is also 40 minutes from Hollyhead, where our ferry departs. The perfect spot to explore before the real adventure starts the following day. The van was a squeeze for three adults and a dog for dinner and games that evening, but we made it work. We said goodnight and goodbye to Andy as we were leaving very early the next morning. We made it last onto the ferry after we lost some much needed Covid paperwork. Luckily our neighbour back home came to the rescue with a photo of the needed document. We made the ferry within minutes. The ferry goes from Hollyhead to Dublin and takes three and a half hours. The ferry was super rocky and some of us coped better with that than others. We were definitely excited to see land the other side as we headed to Dublin. Hagen stayed in the van for the ferry journey. It was that or kennels. We figured he would be more relaxed and comfortable in the van. He seemed happy enough when we came back. Oh bless him. Has he got sea legs? Hey buddy. We didn't stay in Dublin long, we headed straight for the west coast. Another three hours of travel. Not bad for a first parking spot. We drove straight to a beach in Sligo. We parked at Cullivmore Beach and walked through the dunes to the famous surf spot Yellow Strand to take a look. Hagen was definitely excited to get out of the van. We found the perfect spot to stay the night. We were super nervous about everything on this first night. We checked the rules a million times, checked the tired times, the brakes, the gas, everything. And eventually we fell asleep. It felt great to wake up in beautiful Ireland. The main travel and ordeal with the paperwork was all over. We could finally enjoy our adventure. We filled up with water and got a couple of days worth of groceries before exploring the coastline. We used the Park for Night app to check out a few possible sleep spots for future use. One of those was Raleigh Harbour, one of our favourite spots on the trip. It's a small fishing island harbour connected by a small track road. It's connected to beaches on three sides and has mountain views all around.
We stayed here for lunch and used our solar panels to top up our power bank and had a clean up of the van. And I made some much needed changes. We spent the first few days like this, lots of checking out coastline and finding quiet spots to spend our time. Looking back, we were very much still settling into van life in Ireland. On the third day, we got chatting to a local dog walker, who described a local surf spot hiding on the headland close by. We packed up our things and headed straight there. She wasn't wrong. Jim wasted no time getting in. It was why we chose to come here after all. He served here twice this day and twice the next day. It was so fun being able to watch him out there from the comfort of the van.
penguins on your like putting up the whole screen. I think Jim would have just spent the whole 12 day trip there given half the chance. But I pushed him to keep travelling up north to see what else is out there. When researching about what was further north, we found out about Devil's Chimney, the highest waterfall in Ireland. A waterfall by Glencore Lake. It took about an hour walking through beautiful forests to reach the falls. We had it all to ourselves, it was quite impressive. <laughs> Still travelling north, we drove by Glenif Horseshoe, a horseshoe shaped mountain range. You can take a 30 minute drive loop through it to take in the beautiful views. Still heading north, we passed by a huge beach just off of the main road. We got out for a little explore. Hagen had a great time in the dunes chasing bunnies. The dunes quickly became his favourite thing. That's all for part one. Join us next week for part two of our Irish adventure, where we check out infamous surf spot Mullagmore Head and Jim surfs the biggest waves of his life. We also visit super secret spot Coney Island and have the whole island to ourselves. See you next time. <laughs>